Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Brendan back again with another video and today I've got something really exciting to talk to you guys about. This is a new product, a set of plugins for audio editing for most audio editing software and non-linear editors including Premiere, Final Cut, Avid and all those. This is something I think that could potentially really change the game for a lot of you videographers out there. We are specialists when it comes to videography, when it comes to image capture. We know our camera systems like the back of our hand, but when it comes to recording audio, some of us, we are not audio specialists. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is a bundle of audio plugins from this company called Accusonus. And they reached out to me to ask me if I could do a review of these plugins, show you guys kind of what it's all about. So this is not sponsored, but they did send me this product to check out and do a review of. Now this plugin bundle was just released a few days ago, so it's brand new, and they're doing a deal right now where if you purchase this bundle of audio plugins by the end of July, by the end of this month, then you get a humongous discount, a huge amount off. So I was super excited to kind of give you guys this news that this brand new set of plugins exists. So yeah, I'm gonna be trying it out in front of camera right now, live for you guys and uh, seeing how good these plugins actually are and seeing if they're useful. There's a few things here, a few of these plugins that I think are gonna be really, really useful. You pretty much have a de -esser, a noise remover, a plosive remover, a reverb remover, and the pro version of this bundle also comes with a fifth plugin, which is called Era D, and that, that pretty much gives you additional denoise and de-reverberation options. Most of these are pretty much you adjust one knob up or down in terms of the sensitivity, how much it's affecting your clip, and that's really all you have to do. You don't have to know too much about audio or about audio post-production to make your audio sound way better. So from the stuff that I've seen so far, it seems like these work really well. And like I said, I'm gonna try these right now. I'm gonna try a few of these, see how they work and uh, how good the results are. So let's give it a try. Okay, so the first effect that I'm gonna try is the noise remover. And this just comes in the normal bundle, not the pro bundle. So we'll just try out the noise remover real quick. To make it extra noisy in here, I'm gonna turn on my air conditioner you can see in the background. So let me do that. All right, that's gonna kick on and it's gonna get real loud. Cool. Okay, so then I'm also gonna move the microphone further away from me so that way it's even less sensitive, so I'll have to boost up the gain a little bit, which means there's gonna be a lot of noise in this audio. So we're gonna see how good the noise remover is. All right, let's try this out. Okay. All right, this is a test of the noise remover. I'm gonna add a few pauses in when I speak here, so that way you can hear when I'm not talking. Okay, so let's listen back to that, and we'll see how bad it is initially. All right, this is a test of the noise remover. I'm gonna add a few pauses in when I speak, so that way you All right, so I can definitely hear the air conditioner in the, the background. So let's drag this noise remover in. And this isn't white noise, this is like artificial real room tone noise, but we'll see how, how good the noise remover handles this, so. We're going to play it back in real time and adjust this dial and see how much it actually affects it. So first I'm gonna turn the dial to zero and then as I play it, I'll turn it up and see how well it handles it. All right, this is a test of the noise remover. I'm gonna add a few pauses. Okay, so I'm, I'm pausing this here just to have my initial reactions. This is the first time I'm trying this guys on camera, just so you know, so you're getting my real reactions. I'm only putting it to 13% and it's already taken away so much noise where I already feel so much better about the quality of this audio. Let's put it to exactly 50% and see how bad that messes up the actual audio we wanna keep. All right, this is a test of the noise remover. I'm gonna add a few pauses and when I speak. Holy crap, that's good. All right, I'm convinced. Okay, so let's go on to the next effect. I'm also gonna try the plosive and the reverb remover because those are things that I can, I could try the de -esser, but I can't really like make bad S noises without like a really shitty microphone. So I'm just gonna try the plosive remover and also the reverb remover. So first I'm gonna take the pop filter off and I'm just gonna speak right into the microphone and make a bunch of plosive sounds that sound like puh, 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 you know? Like really airy plosive sounds. And we're gonna record that and see how well the plosive remover 
handles it. Again, this is the first time I've ever tried this, so we're gonna see how good this is. Okay. Plosive sounds. Plosive, plosive, plosive. Okay, definitely lots of plosive sounds in there. Let's see how the plosive remover handles it. So dragged it in, we'll go to edit, and we'll listen to it. I guess we'll do the default setting of 40. Plosive sounds, plosive, plosive, plosive. The parts where I think it peaks and oversaturates a little bit, I think that can't really be retrieved and brought back and fixed, but wow, that's a big difference. Yeah, that's really, really good. Impressive, I like it. And again, it's just one dial and you adjust it and it's way, way, way better. Last but not least, let's try out the reverb remover. And in order to record some audio with lots of reverb, reverb <laughs> I can talk. I'm just gonna back this microphone up and I'm actually gonna speak a little bit further away from it. So let's try this. Okay, so we are, oh, you know what, before I do that, I'm going to increase the volume here back to about eight. There we go. Okay, so let's try that out. Okay, we are testing out the echo, the reverb remover effect. Let me talk a little bit away from the microphone to see how much that affects the reverb and the sound of the audio. This is fun, I like this. <laughs> Okay, there's lots of reverb in this. I'm gonna increase the gain of that a little bit again. Lots of reverb in this. Okay, let's see how well this handles it. So let me go to edit, turn this up. Okay, we are testing out the echo, the reverb remover. Okay, it definitely takes out a lot of the echo. As you can see though, it does start to degrade and deteriorate the quality of the audio pretty quickly. I do have this turned up pretty high. There is a lot of echo in this audio recording. Let's look at this again. Okay, we are testing out the echo, the reverb remover effect. Yeah, so it does kind of start to make me sound like a robot a little bit. Let me turn this down. Okay, we are testing out the echo, the reverb. So it's not so bad around 30%. It does take a lot of the reverb out, but it doesn't really sound like a robot anymore. It's amazing to have a reverb remover, especially because that is not a built-in thing that you can get in Premiere on its own in, in any really non-linear editor. So to have a reverb remover, as well as a plosive remover, I do not believe there's a plosive remover built into Premiere. So yeah. Those are my tests of this new bundle. So a link to where you can find this bundle will be the very first link in the description below. You can go to that website and check it out for yourself. Just from these tests, I'm really excited to keep using these and pretty much adding these plugins to every single audio that I record from here on out. It's gonna make a huge difference. And like I said in the beginning of this video, if you purchase this before the end of July, you're gonna get a humongous discount. So go check that out. And yeah, so let me know in the comments what you thought of the results of some of these tests. And I'm really interested to hear what you guys think or hear what you guys use, maybe some alternatives to this as well. But yeah, so this was pretty cool. I hope this helped you guys out and I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks.